Hello viewers, my name is Mr. Kazim and I am delighted to welcome you to my YouTube channel at Smart Help TV. Here you will find detailed tutorials on your science courses and tips on how to answer examination questions successfully. I started this channel to also share my knowledge and experience in this field and to give you tips on how to succeed as a university student. If you are looking for detailed tutorials on physics subjects, chemistry, mathematics, biology, statistics, and general studies, GST, then you have come to the right channel. So therefore, sit back, relax, and join me on this journey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to never miss on an important update. Please remember to also share this video so that others can benefit. Thank you very much. Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be looking at experimental physics and the topic of discussion is writing the report of an experiment. We want to look at how to write the report of an experiment. This is very important. After we've taken the lab work, after we've performed the experiment, the next thing to do is to report that experiment. How do we report an experiment? To report an experiment, it has its own steps or procedure. And the first thing for a good experiment is the date. It must contain what? The date. You have to what? report the date of that experiment. The date in which the experiment was carried out. It has to be reported. The next thing after writing the date is to include the title. The title of the experiment. For instance, in an experiment that involves what? Maybe refraction through what? Glass block. The title of the experiment will be Refraction through Glass Block. So we have different experiments in physics. It is very important to always indicate the title of the experiment. This must be included in the report of that experiment. After writing the title, the next we are going to write is the aim. The aim of an experiment. Every experiment has its own aim. It is aimed towards a particular thing. For instance, in the experiment that involves refraction towards glass block, the aim of that experiment is to verify the laws of refraction. The aim of that experiment is to, what? Is to experiment, experimentally verify the laws of refraction. Afterwards, writing the aim of the experiment, the next thing we must include in our report is the apparatus. This is very important. Every experiment has its own unique apparatus. These are the instruments that was used in carrying out the experiment. You have to write the apparatus that has been used in carrying out the experiment. The next thing, after writing the apparatus, is to draw, if there is, one, if there is any diagram, draw the diagram or the experimental setup. That's why it was experimental setup. How has the experiment been set up? How have you set up the experiment? So we have to what? Report the experimental work set up. This can be in form of a diagram. Just a, a, a small sketch that shows how the experiment has been carried out. Or just a just simple diagram. It doesn't need any painting, just what? a simple diagram. Just to show how the experiment was set up. The next thing, Afterwards, writing the experimental setup is to include what we call table or we call it observations. This is very important in writing reports of an experiment. The table or the observations are those results that were gotten while in the laboratory. We have to report them in form of what observations or a table. And it should be noted that in writing a table, in that table, 
all the parameters must be in the same places of decimal. If they are using three decimal places, then it has to be three decimal places all true. If they are using four decimal places, then it has to be what? Four decimal places all true. There must be uniformity. For instance, let's assume I'm having this table, the first one, serial number, maybe let's say what? Uh, time, C, in seconds, and let's say I have a capital T, which is small t over number of oxidations. I should adopt the same places of what? Decimal. If I'm going for three decimal places or four decimal places, then this should be what? 1.000 for three decimal what? Places. You can see, 1.000, not ordinary one. So that they would be in the same places of what? Decimal. Number 2.00. 3.000. There will be here for the time. For instance, let's assume we have what? 10.5. Let's say 10.56. On the stopwatch, it's recorded 10.56. For it to, work, to be in three decimal places, you include zero. So that you also be in three decimal places. For the second one, let's assume we have 9.24. Include what? Zero. So it's be in the same place of what? Decimal. And for the last, for the last one, let's assume we have, let's say, 7.63. Or let's say 7.1, or now we six. We have 7.6. Just what? Put what? Double zero. So that it will be what? In the same place of what? Decimal. So these are what? Our what? Report table. They have to be in the same places of decimal. That is, Three digits after the decimal point. You can adopt three decimal places or you can adopt what? Four decimal place system. For the capital T, which is the period, let's assume we have, let's say, 15.25. Then you include what? Zero. So that you also tally with the other table. They have to be in the same places or decimal. For the second one, let's assume we have 17. Point 18 include what under zero and for the last one let's assume we have 25.63 then include under what zero so that there will be uniformity in the table you can see on the board i'm having what uniformity they are the same places of what decimal which are what three decimal what places so please in reporting your what your table or your observations you have to take note of this so after reporting the table the next thing that is very important in our experiment, in writing the report of an experiment, is drawing what conclusion. Is drawing conclusion. How do we draw conclusion of an experiment? So the conclusion of an experiment are those what just like the summary or the results of what has been gotten from the graph. After you plot the graph, there are some particular information that are attached, that are hidden in that graph. So when you plot out those information, those are the words completion that should be in what in that experiment. For instance, in an experiment in which you must determine the word, the value of what ascension due to gravity. Or in an experiment that involves what, let's say what, velocity time graph, velocity against what time. Velocity against what time. In an experiment that involves what, velocity against what, time, the slope of that experiment gotten as something like this, which is what, the change in what, in the V over change in what, T. V is in what, meter per second, and T is in what, seconds. The slope of this type of graph gives what we call what, acceleration. Because acceleration is what, change in what, velocity over what, time. So this is what acceleration. So in this type of what experiment, I can conclude that from the graph, the acceleration due to gravity is so 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 number. That is, I can see that what a equals maybe the slope we got equals to what let's say what nine point six meter per second squared. These are what conclude in an experiment. These are the findings that are gotten from that experiment. Okay. So apart from the word conclusion. Apart from what the conclusion, the next thing that is also very important in writing the report of an experiment is the precautions. Is the precaution. 
This is also very what important. These are the precautions that have been taken in order to what to get accurate results. These are the precautions that have been carried out that have been followed in order to get accurate results. Precaution is very important in experimental physics. And in writing your precaution, please take note of this. Your precautions must be in a reported format. It must be in a reported format. For instance, for instance, in an experiment that involves the use of what measuring or metal room. An experiment that involves the use of what metal room, that type of what precaution can be what? I ensure that I ensure that the error that the error due to parallax due to what parallax was avoided while reading the meter rule. I ensure that the error due to parallax was avoided while reading the word meter rule. This is an example of, of a precaution. This is an example of a precaution while taking words an experiment that involves meter rule. I ensure that the error due to parallax was avoided while reading the meter rule. Also, it can, it, it can not even be what meter rule, it can be stopwatch. Anything that involves what reading, counting, it can be what stopwatch. I ensure that the error due to parallax was avoided while reading the word stopwatch. Thank you very much.